Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a tracing technique. And the way we're going to do the tracing technique is that we've got these um, made up sheets which have got the Converse shoe on. And basically all I'm going to do is use a piece of A4 paper, lay it over the top, and I'm going to get two paper clips and I'm just going to position it in place. Now the reason for using the paper clips is because it just stops the paper from moving around so then I can concentrate on what I need to be tracing. So I'm going to make sure I've got a pencil. This is a 2H so it'll be quite dark um, and make sure it's sharp. So I'm then just going to follow around. Now some of you might choose to actually trace the whole thing and some of you might choose just to trace the outside. So I'm just going to very quickly for this demo trace the outside so we get the desired shape that we want. So I'm just making sure I'm following that round line and I'm just picking up some detail like the sole for the shoe and I'm going to go up and I'm going to pick up the top of the shoe where you'd insert the foot and then we'll start and pick up some of the detail where the laces would go in. Now this is for your final drawing, so I do want you to take your time on this. But generally you get the idea of the sort of shape that I'm trying to create. By just tracing. Putting the logo. And then we'll just put in the other side. Okay, so that's stage one of the shoe. So the second stage now is going to be to start and add in some um, more detail. So the way I'm going to add in some more detail is I'm going to use a fine liner and this is going to add in, um, bring out some detail but also make the shoe stand out more. So I'm going to go over with the fine liner. What? The outline of the pencil. What this is going to do is it's going to just bring out those, basically those lines, so that when I start to render using colour, I've got some Again, you can take your time while doing this. I'm just giving you a basic principle. Getting that lace as well, which comes, comes around here. And then we'll just get those laces in as well. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to think about what we've used for the specification. And if you've specified that you want to go with blue, then you would get a blue pencil cone. Again, you would make sure it's sharp. And now we're going to start and think about actually rendering. Now, rendering is a technique where what you do is you start in the corner and you go darker in the corner. So an easy way of doing it is do your three corners first. So for this toe cap, I'm going to go one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and just shade very lightly in the middle. And as I get to the corner, I'm going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to go lightly in the middle. So when we step away from what, what we've coloured, we can see that it just gives it that little bit more of a realistic, realistic look. Again, I'm going to think about the colour that now I've used for the base because that's going to be a different piece of plastic. And I'm going to use the orange because that's again in my specification. I'm going to apply the same principle. Always make sure that your pencil crane is sharp. And I'm going to use the same principle and I'm going to add darker colour, a darker orange. So I'm holding the pencil crane with more force to get more colour for the corners. 
and then I'm also going to run it along the top as well. And again along the bottom. And if you remember that principle, you can't really go too wrong with your rendering. And then I'm just going to just add a lighter pressure along the bottom in between those lines that I've created using the harder pressure. Again, I'm, you can take your time on this. I'm just showing you the demo. And I'm going to go along. And as you can see, you're starting to get that more realistic finish. Okay, so that is tracing and rendering.